Okay, so I have my HTC One M9 here, and I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror to your TV wirelessly, okay? Now, there's several devices that you can use to uh, screen mirror your uh, M9 to your TV, or basically any TV or monitor that has an HDMI port. But for this video, I'm gonna be using uh, what's called the uh, Screen Beam Mini 2 by Action Tech. I'll put a link below where I got it. It's around like $55. But also what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do another video using a different device called Chromecast second generation and there are differences between the two okay so and some of the you know some of the things you can and cannot do it'll definitely be a uh, deal breakers for a lot of people so I mean just to start off this screen being mini 2 guys you do not need no Wi-Fi network to connect to it's a Wi-Fi direct connection so basically it's not a Wi-Fi network it's a Wi-Fi direct so it's a direct communication between the device here the Wi-Di display receiver which is on the back of my HDMI directly to my M9 here and it does support 1080p HD. The thing about the, the Chromecast here, um, and like I said, I'll put a link below when, um, when I do that comparison with the, uh, the M9 and I'll do the same exact thing that I'm doing for this video here. But for this one here, you do need a um, Wi-Fi, you need to connect on the same Wi-Fi network. The device has to connect on your Wi-Fi network, the same network as your phone. No Wi-Fi, no connection, period. <clears throat> That's why I think this one here is great, especially if you're doing uh, presentations for work, like PowerPoint presentations or Excel sheets. You just go to your work, you pop in this, this device here in the back of your HMI, and I'm gonna show you how fast and easy it is to, to connect because you're directly connecting with it. So you don't need no Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi password. Um, you know, there's no risk really because if your the Wi-Fi is faulty at work or whatever. Anyway, so let's do this first, okay? So I have the uh, Screen B Mini 2. Um, already plugged in and you can see I'm already screen mirroring. So let me go ahead and just like disconnect for a second here. So let me go here and I'm gonna show you how to connect to it. Okay, so I'm gonna disconnect first. Okay, just click on my phone. Okay, I'm out. So once you once you plug the uh, device in the back of the TV, then you simply go to the correct HDMI port that it's on and then you just connect your TV right away. And I'm gonna do like gameplay videos, show you guys some videos, um, uh, photos uh, locally and stuff like that. So let me go to connect to it and how you connect to it is you just scroll down and then you want to click on this top right hand icon here and HTC connect. Let me zoom in here. Basically um, screen mirroring. Other devices call it screen mirroring or screen mirror. Uh, HTC makes it um, is different or some other phones call it like media output or, or um, all share cast. Okay so what you want to do from here is uh, let it find a device and you can see, let me focus in on here. It's uh, and it says a uh, screen beam ready to connect and the receiver name is the SBWD, which and if you look on my phone, I already found it. It's right here. It's a Miracast device, so I'm gonna click on that. Let it connect. Give it a second here. Let me focus in. It says connecting you now. Then it's gonna say magic will happen. Now I don't need no Wi-Fi or I mean and and it will work off mobile data as well. So technically speaking, I can take this entire TV. I can bring it, put it into my car, and lo as long as I can power up my TV, I can watch like Netflix and YouTube or anything direct just by using my mobile data from my phone. Okay, so let me see here. So let's do this. Let's go into my gallery here and just look at some photos, uh, some videos here. Uh, here's a photo here. You can see. Of course, I turn it over. It's going to go in portrait mode here. Here's a uh, video. Let me just click on play. And the, when I raise the volume, decrease the volume, it's going to go directly to my, my TV here, okay? Uh, let's see what else. Uh, that's another picture. I can kind of zoom in there. It's another video. Testing. Okay, so you pretty much get the picture with that. But if you have presentations and Excel sheets and PowerPoints, it's great for work. Okay, so let's do this. Let me go ahead and play a game here. I'm going to go uh, racing car here. And I'll put the link below where I got this. I mean, it's about like $55. Uh, this other one, the program second generation, I have a video um, in, in a, a link description below, but this one here is like $35, but there are pros and cons to both of them, depending on exactly what you want to do. But of course, you can screen mirror, you can play games on both of them. 
But if you have, if you, if you don't have a strong Wi-Fi connection, then your Chromecast second generation is going to be uh, pretty laggy there. Okay. Okay. So let me go ahead and let me raise the volume. Oh, I couldn't see. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Hold on a second here. Ah, oh, great. Oh, that was close. Oh. Okay, I think you uh, pretty much uh, get the picture here. Okay, so let's do this now. Let's uh, let's play a YouTube video. Now make sure you check my um, my other review using your uh, M9 phone to the Chromecast too, because there's definitely a difference between these two here. And I'll tell you one of the big differences like in a second here. But with the Chromecast second generation, what you can actually do is you can cast it too. So let me zoom in here. So you're able to cast it, and it's great to, for you to be able to cast because with screen mirroring, you'll be playing both the videos simultaneously. So for example, okay, so let me just uh, play a, a video here. And see, okay, let me bring you another point. Make sure you watch the, the link below uh, in regards to my, my video in the Chromecast and so with, your a, a, with your A9, because uh, with, with the Chromecast second generation, you can, not only can you screen mirror, but you can cast. So like for example, with the, with, with the screen mini, with the screen beam mini two, I cannot cast, I can only screen mirror. So everything, when I'm playing a video here, you'll be, I mean, it's gonna play simultaneously on my phone and on my TV. Now, if I was to um, cast it, like first of all, to cast it, you have to make sure the application has like a casting icon, like up here. And there's tons of apps that have a casting icon, like, uh, I mean, obviously, YouTube, Netflix, HBO Go, Pandora. I mean, there's tons of apps that have it. Now, if I'm not going to be able to uh, do a cast, to cast it, but if you are able to cast it, basically, it's only going to play on your TV, not on your phone, but you'll be able to fast forward. Uh, pause, rewinds, um, and a great thing too with casting is you'll actually be able to make phone calls while your movie or video whatever is playing in the background. You can still make phone calls. You can go into other apps. You can even um, turn your phone off. Like for example, I'm doing a screen mirror. So when I'm screen mirroring and I shut my phone off right here like this, everything is going to turn off. But if you're casting, it's still going to play in the background and you can still raise the volume up and down as well. So let me go uh, back into there. Now, of course, you know, you can browse the internet to your screen mirroring. So everything that's on my phone or on your phone is going to be uh, on the uh, on the TV as well. So you can check your email, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions, uh, just comment below. If you guys subscribe, like, share, that'll be awesome. Thanks. Bye.